Summer League team has won three straight. Last night's Badlands shut out the Sawtooth Sockeyes, who call Caldwell, Idaho home. Tonight, it's the second game of the series. Now, Sawtooth would grab the lead in this one, and it had some help doing so. Two runs would score on the throwing air. So the uh, Big Sticks got it into a little bit of a hole, but in the second inning, they helped crawl out of it. It's Carson Carey. He singles in to left as Brent Craigle was on third. That's the first run of the game for the Big Sticks. Now, Badlands, though, would come all the way back and tie this thing up. Alex Erlob, he will steal second. Cooper Hill, he will steal home. It's tied for all, and from that point, the Big Sticks got the only two runs of the game. They won it by the final of 6-4. to four. Carey had the game-winning RBI. Well, the Larks have their first off day of the summer, which is a very good time to put Jackson Beeman in the sports spotlight. Jeff Roberts has the story of Jackson's unique perspective on the injury that kept him off the diamond for nearly a year. The crack of a bat is something Jackson Beeman has become used to in his second season with the Bismarck Larks. I've always been an overthinker and a, a guy that's needed this and this and this to go right for me to hit well. And I'm seeing the ball really well right now and I'm just trying to hit good pitches hard. Through two weeks this summer, Jackson leads the league in home runs. This ball's got a chance at the wall, it's gone. And is top 10 in hits. I've known in my heart how, how good I can be and how good I can play. And I'm just so, so blessed to be able to finally get the opportunity. The opportunity comes after Beeman spent 10 months on the sideline. On August 4th of last summer, Jackson tore his ACL on the final play of the game against the Eau Claire Express. That throw from Beeman and right, he's injured in right field. Let's hope that he's okay. The road back has been, it's been the best. I, I, I don't know how, how I can say this and people look at me and not think I'm joking, but it's been the, lot, it's been the best 10 months of my life. Terry Macy was the best thing that's ever happened to me. An off season full of recovery later, Jackson took the field for the first time on May 31st. Exactly 300 days since tearing his ACL. Every minute spent in rehab helped put things into perspective. Before my ACL injury, I, I seemed to uh, uh, fill my identity in the game too much. And, you know, tearing my ACL helped me to, to play freer, to be easier on myself. And I'm so grateful for the experiences that I've got to, to learn and the lessons I've got to learn from it. Do you think that you were a more confident baseball player now having torn your ACL than you would have been at this point in your career if you didn't tear it? 100%. 100%. I'm, I just have a, a different mindset and a different confidence to me now that I get to play the game because I'm just so blessed to finally be out here. You know, I'm not, I'm not taking it for granted like I used to. He drills one. Deep left field backing up on it. It is gone. Jackson missed all of 2023 at his dream school, a place he grew up just 90 miles from. He's in another black and gold jersey this summer, preparing him for what's next with the Missouri Tigers. Waking up. Days after you're tearing your ACL and not getting to play for foreseeable future, it's hard to keep getting up and getting out of bed and, and going to work every morning at 6, 7 a.m. But I'm just forever thankful and grateful for the people that just kept pushing me and telling me to keep going. And I'm just glad to be back. I'm ready to, ready to keep going. Beeman heads back to Missouri as a redshirt junior this fall and says his time with the Larks is invaluable before getting back into SEC baseball. With the spotlight on Jackson Beeman, for your news leader, I'm Jeff Roberts. It was not a good night for the Govs and the Chiefs. They both went on the road and they both got swept. The Bobcats went with the offense in the first three rounds of the NHL draft. Bismarck took a forward from Saskatchewan with a 15th pick in the first round. Ten selections later, the Cats grabbed a forward from Edina. Lane Sedevy and his staff also went with offensive players in the second and third rounds as well. And the Twins had back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back RBI hits in the third inning to overcome a pair.